This is video six. Video six will be broken into two parts. We're going to be talking about the biological effects of nuclear radiation. So we're going to talk about um, the effects of being exposed to the radiation and um, the sources and um, half-life of radiation. First of all, you may um, wonder where radiation comes from. And so we just learned last time that there's this um, something called an unstable um, radioisotopes, or uh, in other words, isotopes that uh, spontaneously undergo radioactivity. And we learned that there's something about um, the proton, or excuse me, the neutron to proton ratio. And if the neutron to proton ratio isn't uh, quite right, those isotopes will spontaneously undergo radioactive decay. So radioisotopes are uh, naturally found in the environment and they're also uh, human-made for medical, energy, and defense purposes. So there's um, two sources, either just naturally or human-made. Now, um, there is a certain amount of background radiation all the time. Um, you're never, not ever exposed to uh, background radiation. Um, most of the background radiation, 82%, just comes from natural sources, whereas only 18% comes from human-made sources. And the largest uh, source for background radiation is radon. Radon, if you might remember, well then, before I talk more about radon, I'll just tell you, um, <clears throat> the other, uh, there's other, also, just from the land, um, cosmic radiation from um, outer space, mostly from the sun, um, inside the human body, you're eating, um, you know, different elements all the time, and some of them have some natural ice, uh, radioactive isotopes uh, mixed in with their natural abundance. And then the human-made sources, of course, some consumer products such as smoke detectors, um, nuclear medicine for um, either diagnostic or um, to treat diseases, and also just x-rays. All right, now radon, you may remember, um, is a natural decay product is right here from uranium-238. And uran uranium-238, of course, is found all over um, the Earth's crust. And as it naturally decays, it will decay to radon-222. I'll talk more about that towards the end of the second lecture, uh, what the problem is with radon-222. But the source is natural. Um, it's just part of the decay series of the uranium-238.